What's up guys? Welcome to the live stream if you're not watching live. Stay tuned, keep watching, it's gonna be sick. We're gonna talk about all the new features we're gonna build. We're gonna talk about where we're gonna go snowboard after all the snow melts in Tommy's backyard because it's like that close to all being gone. And we're just gonna continue. Big shout out to all of the new members that are here. Of course, we got Engine, Russell, uh, Joker, Sean's here, Greg is here. Who else was here? So many of you guys have joined. Shion just joined the membership group, so thank you so much, guys, for being a, a member. We have 18 members now on this channel, which is mind-blowing. You guys are so supportive and so sick, so thank you to all the members. Uh, no. I, like, was pausing like I wasn't on a live stream, but we're live. So as you guys, 15 of you are already here. Dude, Ark is here, uh, which is so sick. Um... As you guys keep continuing jumping in, drop some questions, and then we can get rolling right into this live stream. Everyone's saying what's up. Uh, of course, Jono is here. D, D Wizzle's here. Nelson, Orlando, Florida is here. Greg, yo, dude. Um, Austin B is in Denver right now. What up, Austin? I hope you're having a good time working in Denver, not dying from this heat. Uh, dude, Roscoe is here. How we doing? T.Y. Gallo is here, also a member of the channel. As soon as the live chat starts, and ad plays and you'll miss the first five seconds. Sorry, dude. Don't worry though, because it's uh, the ad helps the channel, but two, um, the first five seconds of the live stream, I just say, what's up guys? Welcome to the live stream. If you're not watching live, continue watching. It's literally what I say. So uh, not much going on at the very beginning of the video, but I appreciate you guys watching through those ads. Um, just, you know, supporting the channel. Do you guys still have snow? Ari, we have some snow. We actually have a ton of snow higher up. We can, we'll be snowboarding for a while, but yeah, it's, it's getting more challenging once we, like, it's not like, yo, we're in Tommy's place, then we're in his backyard snowboarding. That's going to disappear pretty quick. It's going to be like, yo, let's go drive to Loveland Pass. Let's go ride. Yo, let's go hike up Buffalo and ride. Like, it's going to get uh, a lot more challenging, but the videos, the daily content will still come. I have a really fun video I'm going to make with Roman now. Um, and it's, it's going to be a good time, but I want you guys to know, not, but just so you know, I'm dying from allergies, like literally dying. My eyes have been watering all day. My nose is sniffling. I've taken allergy medicine, which you can only take once a day, which only helps like the first time you take it. I don't know. It's killing me. I'm going to be sniffling a bunch. I'm going to be blowing my nose a bunch. And I'm going to try not to die. No joke, the allergies kind of killed today's ride session. I went to Tommy's and I was, we were supposed to go ride. We're gonna go, we're gonna build our next feature, which our next feature is a down donkey, log down donkey. We talked about that um, in the gap video, but um, we were gonna go build that today, but we like did a bunch of work for 5050 Gaming, which if you're not subscribed to that, it's linked down below, it's our gaming channel. We did a bunch of work for that this morning and then after we, did the work and it was time to go ride. I was like, dude, my eyes are killing me. Like everything's, uh. I was like, I don't mind if we keep doing some work, which we did do work And Austin did something specifically for you. So now if you go sign up for a snowboard camp or Austin, you already signed up, but if you go to the snowboard camp um, website, which is the top link in the description to go come snowboard with me and Tommy in July. And now is a list of things you need to bring to summer camp. Um, Austin was a sick re recommendation from him, but to make sure you guys know what you should bring, cause we're going to be doing activities that are not on snow as well as stuff on snow and summer camp is going to be so sick. And we're pretty sure we have a dude, like we have a third coach that will be out there with us. He is working at high cascade and he he's got the inside scoop. So things are looking, they're trending good over there currently. So summer camp looks like it's going to happen. So if you want to come to summer camp, be taught how to be a better snowboarder by me and Tommy. It's going to be a good time. How was the tree jumping? Jono, dude, great question. That If you haven't seen that video yet, the, the 22 foot tree gap we made, which is a pretty big jump if you, like, honestly, it was more of a step down because it, it started up here and you landed down here. Anytime you're starting higher and you're landing lower like that, it's called a step down. Um, the jump didn't need a big lip because you would just ollie, and then that ollie plus the height you had would give you the perfect trajectory. And dude, it worked. It was amazing. It was so scary. The hardest part is when you landed in a big pile of potatoes, uh, you would land, you sink a little bit, but then you had to take a hard right turn, like immediately. So it was like, and, and the speed, the run in, because the snow is so slow, like, was like, give it all you got pointing it. So you're like literally pointing this thing and you're just concentrating like, dude, I have the speed. I think I have the speed. I got the speed. Then you're like, I got the speed. And you're like, oh, I'm, I'm in the air. I'm doing my trick. And you're like, Land, hard right, 
hard right and you just give it all you got and try to like bank that turn super hard and it was fun it, and i talked about it in that video but doing things like that scary things like that it is good as a snowboarder like i didn't we didn't do big tricks we weren't doing like snow huge snowboard tricks but even tommy was scared of that thing and so to get out there and be scared of something and challenge yourself yes dude no way you're outside is a is a big thing for you guys or is a big thing as a snowboarder to get out there and scare yourself a little bit so dude, the tree jump jump was heavy and it was sick you need to do two in you need to do a second intro after the five seconds dude ty gal that's a funny that's a, that's not a bad idea you know what's funny too though is i have so i have youtube premium i just felt like well back in the day i would get my music for all the vlogs off youtube so i was watching like so many ads. I was like, well, if I get this premium thing, I don't have to watch these ads anymore. So I got the premium and I still have it. And YouTube t deducts it out of my paycheck they write me every month. So it, it's kind of handy. It just, I don't even know. It's just 10 bucks less a month I get. Um, and I don't get any ads. So I forget that there's ads on videos like all the time. Uh, Raymond said, next time you go to Tahoe, you should go to Homewood. It's a good small mountain. That'd be really cool. Uh, we usually go, when we go to Tahoe, we go ride resorts where people have passes. I had an Icon Pass, so we could have done like Squaw Valley, but no one else there had an Icon Pass, which was a bummer. Up rail into a down rail. Uh, Drew, we, with the gap. Oh, you want it to gap it. I'm going to say we did an up down rail, but you want to go up and then down, but with a gap. So we like a log like this is like support port beam log gap support beam log tommy would be all about that that's a tommy feature for sure bearded mountain bike what's up dude breezy how we doing leo said the 20 foot jump was sick it uh was it scary for the first attempt the okay, first attempt was terrifying and i also ate it i sunk into the potatoes super hard and like front flipped out so uh but after doing it i felt a lot more confident and everything went way better Shelby, you bring that squeaker to the live stream again? You got Shelby, come here. Oh. Go outside. Oh. Sorry. The puppies, the babies, the family, they bomb the live streams. Chuck Van, dude, what's up, dude? He says, hey, everyone, dropping in to say hi. I'm hiking the bush near my house. Let's go, Chuck. Your guys' winter is about to start, right? That's going to be sick. Bearded said, real question, are you considering the cost of building of the features versus the payout of the videos? So you're right, there is a cost to every video. We gotta get the bolts, the nuts and all that stuff, um, as well as the salt and everything. But when the grand scheme of that, that comes down to, it's probably like seven bucks for each feature we build. So anytime someone buys a sticker from the video, um, it pays out. Definitely right now, I would say the 2000 views we get I'm probably making like each video is getting like 2000 views right now. Cause the snowboard content has dropped 2000 views per video is probably like six bucks. So it's, it's definitely like, I'll probably break even per feature we make, but over time, I think these videos will do well. My hope is that next season, like right at the beginning of the season, when people are excited on snowboarding, these videos get found and they're like, wait, they did that during quarantine. Like that's heavy. So right now, it's, it's like sometimes with YouTube, you make a video and you hope maybe later on it's going to pop. That's a really good question though. Um, yeah, YouTube's tricky. You, I, I don't think about it too much because I know I'm in this for the long term. Um, I know that the majority of my revenue comes from my merch, um, which on that point, if anyone wants to snag an evolution sticker for their car, this is the big one. So this is a big one for the back of your car for scale. We could use Roman without on Instagram. This is a normal evolution sticker. This is a big one. So you definitely get more for your money with the big evolution sticker. You can throw it on the back of your car. And then of course we got the small evolution sticker, uh, which is great for your phone. Another way we support the channel is Peachy, who is the man. Choo -choo, choo -choo. Gotcha. Uh, Roman's into gunfights right now. Choo -choo, choo -choo. Peachy, dude, drop the $10 super chat. Peachy, you're the man. He also joined the Patreon page. So thank you, Peachy, and all my Patreons. Uh, Cheyenne, Justin, Melissa, Paul. Dude, the list goes on. Brian, uh, Josh. Choo -choo, choo -choo. Choo -choo, choo -choo. That's You guys support the dream hardcore. So, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. 
sleeping. You want to come say hi? No, we're sleeping. You want the snow cat? Yeah. Okay. No, snow cat can't go outside. You sure? Okay, you can take it outside. If you promise to let Daddy read Peachy's um, super chat, okay? Okay. Snow cat? Yeah. Roman. All right, take it outside. I love you. Bye. You. Bye. Bye. See you. See you. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> All right, Peachy said, what up, Team Huck House? JB, or, uh, uh, JB, do you talk uh, much with the ski dock since all this Rona has gone down? Looks like it's nice weather he is where he is. Hi, everyone. Peachy, that's a great question. So the ski dock, I believe, is in Tennessee right now. He went to go back to hang out with his family. Like He was like, well, if I can't work up here, and I got a quarantine. I was going to go back with my family. So Michael went back home. And yeah, it's nice weather out there. And I, I wrote him. We, we've talked probably day. four times day. on the phone. Day. Day. What? Oh, you day. broke it? Yes. I know. That's why, was I, that's why I was scared to let you borrow it. There you go. Bye. Bye. I love you. Mm, yeah. ah, see you. Um, if we talked like four times or whatever, I wrote him the last time. I was like, dude, you make quarantine look so fun. He's like on a beach. He's fishing. He's whatever. The, the cool thing about Michael is he made a bunch of, he like, you guys supported him so hard. He, he like killed it. I'm pretty sure he's not working while he's out there. He's just vacationing. He's just got a long vacation right now. He's got a sick new business. Uh, he wants to do when he gets back and I'm excited to talk to him about it, work with him with it. The, the cool thing with Michael, he's, he's a true entrepreneur and like, it's so nice to have another entrepreneur as a great friend because I can run things off of him. He can run things off of me. We can help each other. We get it. Um, like Michael has helped me out a ton, especially last summer making money. Like Michael's the dude. Uh, I'm going to blow my nose. Give me a second. Do any of you guys else struggle with um, allergies? I've never had allergies before. These are killing me. We had another super chat, by the way, Nelson, um, Orlando, Florida, whose thumbnail we saw this last time, thanks to Bobby, his little, not thumbnail, but his, what is that? What is that called? Is an evolution ski sticker on a helmet, blue helmet. He did a uh, fist bump from the pair, dude. Nelson, thank you so much for the $3 super chat, bro. Support in the dream. You guys are sick. Okay, so George Phillip accidentally copied and pasted his question a couple times. He said, yo, Jonathan, your videos are so good and you have inspired me so much to start my YouTube channel. So thank you so much. Let's go, dude. Here is some YouTube advice for you and for anybody that wants to make YouTube videos or um, knows someone that wants to make YouTube videos, just keep uploading. You never know what's gonna take off. You never know what's gonna do good. I'm gonna post some summer videos that are like, that's not even like snowboard content, but I was talking to my wife about it today. I'm like, yo, give me a Roman made a fun video. It's not snowboard content, but it did really well and just got a bunch of views, but they still hold the core of the brand like as it's winter. But we have that video popping and doing really cool father son stuff during the summer. Uh, we might go that route. And then obviously as Roman can snowboard, Roman will be snowboarding with us a bunch. And a lot of you guys say you love the snowboard con or the, the family content. So we'll keep that going. But yeah, it, uh, Jor Jordy, keep Jordy Philip, just keep uploading videos, man. The more consistent you are, the better. Even if that's one video a week. If you did one video a week opposed to one video, two weeks, nothing, one video, so on and so forth. Um, it's best to just do it that way. And dude, Austin just dropped the two dollar super chat and it said two dollars. Austin, dude, you're the man. Um, I really hope we can connect when you're out here while you're out here in Colorado. I'll, I'll text you back. Uh, your text message is still unread, by the way. I uh when I don't have time to get in the text message, I just leave it unread. I have like 20 unread text messages right now. I eventually get into them, just so you know. 1,000 subscribers with no video challenge, which is like the sickest name ever. If anyone wants to help that challenge out, there you go. Who's your favorite snowboarder? Dude, I love Torstein Horgmo. I'm not going to lie. I love his style. I think he's funny. Uh, I think Horgaz of a Love Story is one of the best snowboard movies ever made. Also, when I first move up here, moved up here my first year, he landed the first triple and then won a winning spree. Like, Torstein's the man, but a couple other pros that are really awesome. You have uh, Septute, you have um, uh, Stale Sambeck, 
Gimmel God, who's like a pro filmer, he's awesome. Uh, obviously, like Red is pretty pretty sick. Red watches the channel. What up, Red? If you're catching this live stream, uh, and so much, so many more sick pros out there. And then Julie dropped a two dollar super chat. She said, "Nelson, we're in Orlando, Florida too. Come to NC with us. Let's go." Everyone's connected over this this channel. The community is so sick here. You first off, I want to say thank you to you guys for being so nice to each other. Like literally, everyone says what's up to each other before the live streams or the premieres and things. It's pretty sick. Like. The community that's here is awesome. You guys respect each other. You guys take care of each other. Um, and then you guys like subscribe to each other's channel or play Fortnite together or not Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty. Like it's really cool. Like I'm so excited for our snowboard camp because like Greg, Austin, um, Aaron are all going to come together and like they, they know each other through this or whatever, but they're finally going to meet each other in person and then they're going to rip together and then like hopefully that burns, uh, burn, hopefully that what was I going to say? Hopefully that creates friendships and that like go on forever and I shred buddies, which is so sick. Like this community is sick. Thank you so much, Julie, for the $2 super chat. Uh, Marky Mark said, do you mountain bike? I do mountain bike, kind of. I try to mountain bike. It's my mountain bike helmet right there. Uh, Melissa's going to let us borrow her mountain bike again in the, the beginning of the summer. I got to get my own mountain bike. That's going to be a mission in itself. Um, cause mountain bikes are very expensive. Uh, but her mountain bike's a little big for me, but we're going to make it work and we're going to do some trails. We'll mountain bike, but we're going to play it safe cause mountain biking is scary. It's gnarly and your boy's not trying to get broken. Daddy, you broke it. Yeah. That's what daddy was afraid of. Yeah, All right. Break it. You broke it. Oh no. Want me to fix it? Yes. Okay. No, 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 Mom says you can't have it because you broke it. Looks yeah. like you lost a piece too. Why'd you break it? Do you want to tell them why you broke it? Yes. Why? It did break, yeah. So me and Roman went on a Lego building spree. So he enjoys Legos now. But I think he figured out that you can kind of rip some pieces off and he just kind of breaks... Breaks the Legos. Breaks Oh, there it is. Cool. Mom found the piece that you lost. Always. Mom finds Legos all over the place now. Ta-da! Can you say ta-da? Whoa, ta-da! Okay. Thanks for being patient, guys. Do you have any sponsors? If so, who are they? Snowboard Squad asks. All right, Snowboard Squad. So I have my goggle sponsor, which is Outdoor Master, best goggles in the game. Linked in the description, $40 snowboard goggles, best snowboard goggles in the game. Uh, I have Elevation Supply Co. It's a glove sponsor. The gloves I wear in all my videos, the, the, the hand gloves, the mittens, whatever, the three finger, like, ah. Uh, those gloves are super sick. They're linked down below, as well as my coupon code. So check out Elevation Supply Co. If you need, literally, these gloves are in sick. Sorry, I got the hiccups. These gloves are insane. I, I really do and like recommend them. They're quality and they like they're they're mid they're in they're in um Wisconsin, so they're used to tow ropes and all that stuff. So these gloves last. Um and then I have uh Telus snowboards, but there's there might be a snowboard sponsor shift here in the near future. Shelby. Give me that. Give me that goose. So there might be a shift in the snowboard sponsor, but currently we are with uh, Telus Snowboards. Who else do we have as a sponsor? El uh, Team Hawk House, Evolution Merch. I think those are like my main sponsors right now. Yeah, those are my main sponsors. I've had a couple come and go, like Be Bad Energy Drink. Um, I almost got on another energy drink company. We were, we were in conversations, and then um, all of this coronavirus stuff popped up and messed it up, so... Um, yeah, sp sponsors come and go. Hopefully we can get more and, and more legit ones. And as we keep making better content and become a better snowboarder, things will get better for sure. I'm going to kind of scroll down in the chat. I was up high, but I'm going to scroll down and try and find... Where are we? Snowboard Squad said, I saw the big evolution stickers on the gram. Dude, yeah, I've been I've been trying to show show off some merch on the gram. If you're not following my Instagram, check it out. It'd be sick to hit ten thousand followers on Instagram. We're at like 
8,300. We got to get that 10,000, uh, get that swipe up on Instagram. That'd be a game changer once we get swipe up. JB, the resorts got off to the fast, got, or JB said, or Chuck Van said, JB, the resorts got the first big snowstorm are being dumped on now. Normally the season starts in five weeks. Let's go, Chuck. That's, and down in Austra Australia, by the way, guys, a summer trip down there would be insane. Why don't you get YouTube AdSense? I do get YouTube AdSense, but so the snowboard CPM, CPM is kind of like what you get paid per thousand views. It's like $3 per thousand views um, as a snowboarder, which is insane is like one, if you're on Google preferred, like if, if you're a big content creator, you get paid like your CPM is like 10 to $15, if not $20 per thousand views. And then um, business channels, channels that talk about finances, investing, things like that. Business channels get about a $10 to $15 CPM. It's insane. Dude, T.Y. Gallo dropped a $5 super chat. Let's go. How tall are you and what size board do you ride? Um, oh, my. My first name is pronounced Ty. Ah, Ty Gallo. Okay, so I am 5'6". I'm a shorty. And... Right now, so my Marhar, the evolution board I'm rocking, is a 151. Um, the Telus snowboard I rode all year was a 149. I did like the 149 smaller snowboard, but the, um, the Marhar is so uh, flexy and, and bendable. That's why I'm back on it, because we're doing a lot of jimming. That board's so playful that it's a 151. But yeah, I was on a 149 all season. I really liked it. Uh, if you are having issues knowing how, how big of a snowboard to get, Ty, uh, go to the snowboard company you want to buy. So let's say you're going to get a, like a Burton, but like Burton size chart, like snowboard size chart, and it'll pop up and it'll tell you based off your height and your weight where you should really be. Now, if you're like really tall and super, um, super light, you're going to want to go with a snowboard that's more towards your weight, not your height. Weight is more important than your height because you could be six, three, but weigh 110 pounds. And if you get a 163 snowboard, you're not gonna be able to move that thing around. Um, so just check out the, your weight size chart type thing. And then Nelson, dude, with a $5 super chat, let's go. Cause I have an Epic pass now, but I already bought the Icon 21. What do you think if I defer the Icon to 2020 and get the 20% discount count off Epic. Nelson, dude, that's a great question, not a bad idea. And I meant to make that the topic of this video and I totally forgot and you just reminded me, if you have an Epic Pass and you rode over five days, you get 20% off your next season pass, which is insane because like an uh, Epic Pass is a thousand dollars. That's what I've been buying. So I get 200 bucks off of it. Like, let's go. I'll take that any day. Um, Nelson, if you have the option to defer the Icon Pass with and get 100% of your money back, that might be the route to go, dude. Save yourself some money, get full Epic, um, be able to go to a lot of places. It depends. Where do you live, Nelson? If you live in Denver, I do think Icon's kind of like the best bet for anyone that lives in Denver and you're driving up I-70. Because you can go to Eldor, you can go to Winter Park, you can go to Copper, you can go to A Basin. Um, and then if you get the Epic, you can go to Breck, Keystone, or you can drive all the way to to Vail or Beaver Creek. So I think the icon right now is kind of winning that battle. Nelson, oof, if I was you, if you get 100% back on your icon, I'd probably get 100% back on the icon and go with the epic, dude. I'm really excited about that 20% off though. So if you haven't checked your emails yet, check your email from Vail. You should have a 20% off thing. I haven't got mine yet. I'm gonna have to look into that. Maybe I got too many days on the mountain. They're like, you ain't getting any percent off, dude. You got, you made money off of us. I'm like, yeah, I did. All right, where am I at? Where are we at in the chat? Do, 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 do. How is it with my ever? Oh, Rascal, your evolution sticker is headed your way, dude. We got your address all fixed up and it's on its way, dude. Yeah, if I do it wrong, my eyes water and my nose is useless. Oh, the allergy medicine, If I, I'm probably doing it wrong. Probably, I'm getting smoked out here. So you guys are talking to Bobby. What do you think of the Art of Flight movie? Jono, dude, Art of Flight. Oh no, you closed the door. What do you say? Hey, what do you say? Help, please. Mom's got you. He closed the door, he's mad. I think 
when I opened the other door, this one oh, like, <laughs> Um, Dude, Art of Flight is an amazing snowboard movie, and it kind of changed the snowboard industry when it came to snowboard yes. movies. It was like okay. one of the first super artsy, fancy, like sick riding, but sick cinematic, yes. insane, Bobby's back there making fun of me, <laughs> insane uh, quality, slow motion, like you couldn't believe, insane helicopter piloting. Art of Flight is sick. I used to watch it like during yes. every season. I might, I should go watch it again. It's like... It is a sick movie. Now I think about it, like, Art of Flight was, it changed the game. Um, they also, like, the thing I liked about it, too, is, like, every snowboard movie has, a, like, you like, party scene there in the bars, whatever, drinking. They didn't really have that. It had them, like, throwing axes and shooting stuff with shotguns. Like, that was really cool. Um, and, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Art of Flight, if you haven't seen it, guys, watch it. It'll change your, it'll change your life. Sorry, I just read Austin's message about me not replying. Is uh, Austin? It's because your top priority is why I haven't opened your message yet. By the way. Oh, uh, when, when is the learning a kickflip with Tommy video coming out? Kyle, probably never because that video would do terrible, and I don't like to make videos based off things doing good or not. He's, he's getting mad. He's trying to pick what he wants to watch. Have you ever tried to pick a movie with a two-year-old? It's the hardest thing in the world. What's up, dude? Look at that shark movie. Whoa, look at the frog. What sound does a frog make? Oh, fishes. Ne they, can never be, they can never be happy. Um, dude, Evan Block with a $5 super chat. Let's go, dude. Yo, JB, do you think the mounds are well? Do you think the mounds are ever going to open up again this season, or you think everything is done? I think if any resort's going to open, there's two resorts. There's actually three resorts. I think are man enough, uh, resilient enough, good enough, boss enough. There's only three resorts I think that will and can and 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 um can, can do it. You got A Basin, who I really think, if allowed, will 100% open. Mammoth Mountain in California. Mammoth is legit, and they always push summer. And then you got Mount Hood, which has a huge summer program. So they have the best advantage because they're already open in the summer all the time. So they have a good chance. So I think they'll open. I think summer camp's 100% going to happen. I really, really hope A Basin opens. The best, not the best part, but the thing that's good for the channel is I think if A Basin opens, they might do a only season pass holders can show up first or people with A Basin passes because they don't want everyone in the world rushing A Basin because then social distancing, all that stuff will be kind of impossible. But we already have a season pass to A Basin, so we'll already be able to go. Does that make sense? Like we're in the right position for A Basin to open. Um, uh, Evan, dude, thanks for the $5 super chat, bro. You're the man. I hope you're doing good, dude. I hope you get been getting some backyard snowboarding in. Debating between a monarch and icon for next season, season pass. Uh, Daniel, monarch sick. And icon's really cool too. There's not much down in that area with icon pass, I think. Uh oh, Melissa dropped a $20 super chat. First off, what's up, Melissa? Big shout out to Melissa. She is a huge supporter of the channel. She's super sick. She left Colorado to go fight COVID 19. So, Melissa, what is up? She said, Wolf Creek is trying to open this weekend, but plan hasn't been approved yet. Ooh, Melissa knows. If Wolf Creek opens, okay. we're headed to Wolf Creek, boys and girls. Melissa's here. Bobby's here. We got some girls in the chat. Um, dude, Wolf Creek trying to open? Let's go. That's the best part about these independent tiny resorts, dude. They have advantages on when stuff like this happens. So uh, I'll go down there and support some Wolf Creek and get you guys a video. That'd be really fun. When's the blue tick coming on your... Oh, when's the blue tick coming on your Instagram? Leo, dude, I, I requested verification. The first time I requested it, uh, I got denied. And then the last time I requested it, it's, pe it's still pending. Your boy might get verified. That'd be insane if that happened. Um, dude, Matthew, so you said better late than never. I agree. 
When did you first start snowboarding? Cold, the first time I went snowboarding, I was 11 years old, but I didn't really start snowboarding until I moved up here when I was uh, 19 years old. So 19 to now, and this is 29, so 10 years. It's taking me 10 years to get where I'm at. Melissa said, I've had to try, I've, come on chat. She said, I've tried to drag Jonathan to do steep goalies and east wall. It will happen. I know it was supposed to happen this season. Me and Melissa were so going to do it. Um, and our couple of our ABC days didn't just line, they just didn't happen. Um, and then we, right when we were finally in snow where we could go do it again, because it like, there was a good chunk where we didn't have any snow. We finally got some snow. I was like, yeah, let's do the East Wall. Then everything shut down. Like we went, we did Loveland. So we did Loveland. Um, and then there was a bunch of sick snow, whatever. The next day, I wanted to go to a basin. And then they closed down a basin. Greg, what the $10 uh, super chat, dude. Thank you so much. Greg is a huge supporter of the channel. He also sponsors a bunch of giveaways on the channel because he's sick. We're going to be riding in New Jersey with Greg. That's another resort that might open up. He says, Japan fun for big snow to open back up soon. Dude, that'd be insane if big snow opened back up. Dude, ski resorts got to push through and open back up for the people. That'd be insane. Greg, big snow is the place in New Jersey, I'm pretty sure. Um, when that opens up, we're headed out to Greg. We're going to be ripping out there. Thanks for the $10 super chat. Japan, dude. That'd be sick. I'm not going to lie. What's up, dude? Look. Whoa, what is that? Bossy. What? No way. Bossy. That thing looks creepy. 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 We got dude, mom's, him. mom's trying her best right now. Whoa. She's trying her best to keep him, keep him calm. Jared said, have you always lived in Silverthorne or did you move when you started your channel, I'd love to move to Colorado, but I'm not sure where to look that's close to the resorts. All right, great question. So I first moved up to Summit County, which is Breck, Copper, Keystone, um, Silverthorne, technically Dillon. Silverthorne and Dillon are like the same place. Um, I moved up to Breck. So I worked for the ski resort. Uh, I worked for Breck my first year. I lived in a place called Blue River. It was like 10 minutes out of Breckenridge. So I would drive to Breck every day. I lived there for two years. So Breck for two years. And the last eight years I've lived in Silverthorne. So um, the hardest thing is moving up here. It's, I'm not going to lie. You got to get scrappy. One, now to move to Colorado in general, it's expensive to live anywhere in Colorado. But to move up to the mountains, it's very expensive to live up here. The nice part is places pay really good. So like Target right now with the whole COVID-19 thing, raise their pay by $2 an hour. So if you work at the Silverthorne Target, you get paid $17.25 an hour right now. That's insane. You do have to pay a huge chunk of your money to rent though. So if you can get a buddy to move out here with you or you can just get into a room and like, share, like just get a bedroom or something, that's probably going to be your best route. If you're trying to move out here with a dog, that's going to be the most expensive thing in the world is trying to move out here with a dog. A lot of people will write me on Instagram like, yo, I want to move out, whatever. It's me and my dog. I'm like, dude, good luck. Like, the dog is going to make it so much harder to move out here. And now me and Bobby have two dogs. So thankfully we're in a good spot, but it makes it a lot harder. Dude, Evan dropped another super chat. Let's go, Evan. Appreciate it, dude. Ready to exactly ill. Hope you're doing well. Um, ill. Not joking. <laughs> the use. Evan, dude, thanks for $2 super chat, bro. Breezy says, have you ever hiked up Peak 8? If so, please direct me to the vlog. So I don't think I've ever hiked Peak 8 for the vlog. We've done a bunch of Peak 10, Breezy. If you type in like snowboarding Peak 10, um, Jonathan Buckhouse, that was all this last summer. Um, I'd like to do like, I would, I would wish Uphill Access would get opened up on some of these resorts. I'd love to go do those, but I don't think that's going to happen either. Dude, Snowboard Life 14 is here. What's up, dude? He's trying to come to summer camp as well. Snowboard Life 14, we updated the website, so go check out the website. We added a, a list of things. We added a list of things to bring to summer camp, by the way. So that is linked uh, in the summer camp. But guys, if you haven't checked out that yet, come to summer camp with us. It'd be sick. Nathan says... Verified Jonathan, dude, that'd be so sick. 
get verified? I feel like you'd get more subscribers if you, or followers on Instagram if you were verified. You should do a video on the steep gullies and oh, the beavers at the basin. So Nathan, I have made the, I, I made a, a video at the beavers the second day it was open. Go watch that video. It's actually a really sick video with Benton. It's like one of the first days I went snowboarding with Benton too. It was really sick. So if you type in snowboarding, if you type in like snowboarding a basin beavers, John in the buckhouse, that video will pop up and it's really sick. There's backflips in it. There's jumps. Like it was a sick, fun day. Roscoe said, what resort in uh, New Jersey are you talking about? Because if the mountain, mountain Creek, I live in New York City, which is like an hour away. So I think it's called Big, Greg, he said in a super chat, Big Snow. It's an it's a indoor snow resort inside of a mall. Yo, I live in Blue River. Why did you move? Evan, I moved because I worked at Target. And so I was driving from Blue River, 10 minutes outside of Breckenridge, all the way to Silverthorne to, uh, to Target every single day. It was like a 45 minute commute every day. It was rough. But I got to, but me, that's when me and Bobby were doing long distance. And so I got to talk, that was when I talked to Bobby. Uh, I called her on the phone every single day. El Sacker says hi, Bobby. Dude, my nose is on fire right now. It's tickling. I'm not blowing it, I'm like rubbing it. Ugh, allergies suck. Get out of his face. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh. Talking Toph said, uh, get a doctor's note for the dog. Landlords can't do anything. I think so. Landlords are tricky up here. Asko says, oh, I live 13 minutes That's from... They're in New York, Ben. They're once opening week. I think there's officially closed for the summer. Oh no, I don't wanna hear that. I said, all my buddies have been hiking up Breck. Don't tell Breck. Dude, I saw an insane edit on Breck Park um, today on Instagram. I was like, yo, people are slaying Breckenridge Train Park right now. That's so insane. I love you got there. Dude, Nelson is my number one fan. He's dropping super chats hard this live stream nelson dude thank you so much for supporting so hardcore he's got the pair going number one fan that's what's up dude i need to find a way to get uh the emotes like personal emotes or uh, like things for the chat that'd be really cool but nelson dude thank you so much man for dropping the ten dollar super chat and shouting out he's claiming guys who's gonna who's gonna fight him number one fan nelson dude sean roman what's up dude how you been man did you see the Foe that was sledding, the fool that was sledding at Keystone. No, I did not see that video. If you saw that on Instagram, tag me, Sean. I'd love to see it. Dude, between the dogs and the child, we got background noise like crazy. How you guys doing? Shadow, you gotta be nice to your sister. Shadow gets, if you ever hear that, that's Shadow. He's like, when he plays, he gets really loud. Yeah, good job, Roman. Just like that. Dude, mom's like back. You guys don't see it, but mom's back here being like, Shadow, Shelby, Roman. She's she's running this live stream. Uh, Roman gets his big boy bed. The Beavers is super fun. I only like it when there's fresh snow back there, though, because it is actually pretty steep. So, like, and the moguls get pretty heavy. So, if there's not snow within the moguls, then it's like, it's challenging. Sky shoots are out of bounds. Where are. Sky shoots. That's a uh, need a partner with the avalanche training, dude. And avalanche gear. That's what uh, I have a ton of avalanche gear on my wish list. Not saying go snag it, but if you haven't checked out, it's pinned right now. The wish list is where I can put stuff for the channel um, that we need for the season. Because like I see these donations, um, sticker sales, all the merch sales. I got to support the family first, and then what's left over from that, I take and I immediately put back into the channel, whether that's um, snowboard trips, that's snowboard gear, things like that. So the cool thing with the wish list, the Amazon wish list, is that's a way to support the dream without YouTube taking their chunk or without um, any, like, everybody wants their piece that, like, this is how the game works. So people, the Teespring that makes the merch, they take their piece. The Etsy place where I sell the stickers, they take their piece. Everyone's trying to take their piece. Um, but the Amazon wish list allows you to snack something that I need for the channel. Um, 
and 100 percent money goes right you know what i'm saying like you got it off amazon it comes right here and we have it so check it out it's a cool way to support just another options i'm just trying to give you guys options um you don't have to support watching the videos is enough but everyone that's dropping super chats like shane just did i'm super thankful you guys are so awesome shane thank you so much for the four dollar super chat how is utah snow compared to colorado snow dude that's a great question it is different we're a higher ele elevation so Utah snow, even when they get fresh snow, I feel like it it gets a little stickier, a little spring-like sooner than it does in Colorado. Um, but you can have super soft days out there. I've been rained on in Utah. I would just say it's like riding... It's just like riding Colorado, but warmer. But the mountains are gnarlier in Utah. I'm not going to lie. I feel like they got ru more rugged mountains. They're not as big. Colorado has these big, massive resorts that are tons of acres. But Utah has these really incredible resorts that are small. And, dude, if you're going to Utah, from all the ones I've been to so far, and you want to ride big mountain, Snowbird, Snowbird, Snowbird is the one to go to. I'm trying to, like, not fight Rome. Try not to fight Roman when I talk to you guys. He like hears me talking loud or whatever and he like, tries to talk over me. <laughs> Roman, come on. Dude, Shane, thank you so much for the $4 super chat. Utah's sick, dude. If you haven't done a Utah trip and I know you do Colorado trips, if you can do like skip one Colorado trip to do a Utah trip, you'll have a good time. I really like all my trips to Utah. I've never been like, oh, I wish this was better. Like I'm always like, dude, this is so good. All right, Matthew, this is a good question. How did you meet Tommy and Benton? So, uh, Tommy DM me on Instagram. was like, yo, dude, I think I can help you become a better snowboarder. I'm a snowboard coach. Let's connect. And I was like, sure. Like, why not? And this was in the summer. We met up. We hung out. We talked a little bit. We snowboarded a little bit in the summer. So last summer, if you go back and watch some of the summer videos, you'll see the videos where, like, I met Tommy and we went and did, like, we disc golfed for one day. Uh, we went skateboarding for a day. We went snowboarding a couple of days. We jibbed a, a log in his backyard. Like, so I met Tommy in the summer. The summer previous to that, I met Benton and I was making this bike video and Benton was like, yo, let me backflip over your bike. And very typical Benton style. He saw the camera and was like, yo, I want to backflip over your bike. And I'm like, all right, dude. And he started backflipping it. I was like, dude, this guy's insane. He's great for the channel. And then I asked him if he snowboarded. And he's like, yeah, I snowboarded. Like, well, we should snowboard this summer and then, or this winter. And that was like towards the, it was more like the fall time I met Benton. And then we met up and we did the Beavers video and he went hammer time. And then we just kind of hit it off after that. Yeah, so I met both of those dudes, completely random. The ski doc bought an iPhone from me. Hey, Daddy. What's up? You want to come up here? No. Okay. Look, you're on the screen. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Climb, climb, climb. Climb, climb, climb. Yeah. Snowboard Life 14 said, Jonathan, do you think summer camp will move for hey. next summer? Hey. Hey. My parents won't let hey. me go out. It's too, too dangerous still. Um, we're going to, we're not going to move it to next summer. We're still going to do summer camp this year, but if we, um, but, but our plans to do summer camp every summer going on. So if you can't come out this summer, dude, I hope you can make it next summer. That'd be really sick. But yeah, we're not moving summer camp to next summer. Obviously if summer camp gets canceled, we're, we're refunding a hundred percent of the money. If high cascade is not allowed to open, we think they're going to be allowed to open. Um, and, uh, sorry, got distracted. But the summer after that, so next summer, we're going to do another snowboard camp. The goal is to do summer camp every summer. Bobby dropping wife hints about the house. Dude, she always drops the hints about the house. Bobby's killing it. When are you live on Twitch, Nathan asks. Okay, so Nathan's asking about our... 50, 50. Oh, wait. Sean Roman dropped a $5 super chat. It said, Roman. Can you say, thanks, Sean? Thanks, Sean. Can you say, thanks, Roman? 
Really? You said your name. You don't ever say your name. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look What's crabs. up? Look, look, look. Whoa. Who is this? Is that baby Roman? Yes. Yes, it is. Look, all the dinosaurs and the crabs and the lizard. Yes. Do you see them? Yes. Wow. And Grandma says hi. Stop she it. loves you. Stop it. Stop. Yeah, there's a shark. You see the shark? Yes. The dinosaurs. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> dinosaurs and <laughs> lizard? Dinosaurs. Whoa. Whoa, whale? Yeah. Grandpa says hi. Grandpa misses you. Eye surgery happened today. Oh, Please, Robert, I hope your eye uh, surgery went great. Uh, uh. Ooh, dude. <laughs> it's a hat. That's the hat. Oh, we're putting the hat on backwards? Yes. Austin awesome. says, you got to come back to Snow Basin on a good hey. day, man. Probably don't have any on snowboard, anything on snowboard, but definitely a lot to see out there. Dude, Austin. Hey. I do feel like we got gypped a little bit on that day. So, Snowbird, next year, dude, we're doing it. It's going down. Do you hike rat's nest at Snowbird? So gnarly. I don't know if we hiked rat's nest. We hiked something. Type in Snowbird Jonathan Buckhouse. Literally, if you want to know if I ever rode anywhere, just type that in. Whoa. And there's a good chance that you're going to find, um, the, uh, find a video if I've done it. I don't know if it's called rat's nest. I don't know. Have you looked at other merch places other than Teespring, snake. Greg? I haven't, because there a lot more have popped snake. up since. Snake. snake! Oh, there's a snake on the TV. Yeah. Yes, there is. Greg, I haven't looked up any uh, other merch snake. places since. Snake! Where's the snake? It's here. Oh wow! I see it! I see it! What's I haven't looked up any. What's that? Um, What's that? What's snake? Other merch says because of like the channel and timing and all that stuff. Daddy, I still gotta upload the white evolution Daddy, Daddy, hats. Daddy. Yes, yes. Are oh, you taking over? Yes. Okay. Talk to them. No, we did that. No, we can't touch that. Nope. If we touch that, it breaks. No. Let me turn it off at least. There you go. Now touch it. Nathan said, for anyone who wants, who was, who was Ben Howe in Oregon, Mount Hood Meadows snow compared to Colorado oh, snow. Oh, Ben, there's a car. For anyone who was cars. Ben Howe Mama, in Oregon. Mama, there's a snow. Nathan, I don't know what you meant with that one. It got a little funky. That's it. welcome. Matthew says, how do you push yourself when riding solo? I moved cars. to a new resort last winter and every, uh, Everyone partied, so I rode uh -oh, solo hat. all all year. Dude, Matthew, that no Daddy, joke uh, was my first. Daddy, what, six years up here was riding oh, solo Daddy, because, Mama. like you said, everyone that Daddy, works at a ski resort normally just parties. They don't actually show up and snowboard. So, I, Matthew, I've been through your pain. The biggest thing for me. What do you say? Um, so the biggest way I got through riding solo was, um, words are hard. Uh-oh. Sorry, Roman's distracted me. Can you take him? Hack it. Go with mamas. Mamas. So the biggest way I got through snowboarding by myself was Epic Mix. Uh, back in, back in the day, Epic Mix, uh, was like my lifesaver. Because if I had the solo days, I wasn't riding with any friends, I'd just go ch chase Epic Mix pins. Because some days... Are nasty outside, they're gnarly, it's not the best weather, you don't feel like going snowboarding. But we with Epic Mix, there's checking my stats and keeping like so I could be like, yo guys, I rode harder than you, check out my Epic Mix. Uh, but now I have the vlog that kind of shows yo how gnarly I am, how much I snowboard. It is hard to snowboard and progress and do all that stuff when it when you are solo. Like thankfully, the last two years I I haven't really had many solo days. I got a I built a crew, thankfully, between Michael and uh, Tommy and Benton, and I got all these guys that want to snowboard with me, which is really sick. And then honestly, sometimes when, if I like traveling, I'm just me. I get to meet up with you guys to snowboard with, and it just uh, keeps it going. But Matthew, like the this community right here is a great place to try too. Like co like leave comments on videos or 
There's a there's a Team Hunk House Discord now. I don't know if you use Discord, but you can be like, yo, I live here. I'm looking for someone to ride with. Any of you guys can come ride. That could be um, a huge advantage for you, dude. No. Oh no, my hat. Is snowboarding in the U.S. cheap compared to Europe? Uh, it's not. Not at all. Snowboarding in the U.S. is very expensive, and I hear it's way more expensive than snowboarding in Europe. Look at Printful for prints on demand stuff. Okay, Chris, Printful. I'll have to check that out. Joker says, I gotta grab some more stickers tonight. I need about four more. Let's go, Joker. Dude, Joker was on the live stream last night. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Yes. Okay, do it. Go, go, do it. Joker was on the live stream last night for when we got our first W. He dropped a huge... Uh, donation on the live stream on Twitch. So, dude, thank you so much, Joker. It's been a huge supporter. He's got four more Evolution stickers. Grab them if you can. Guys, they're, they're sick. We have tons of colors. Orange, pink, yellow, green, blue, uh, gold, silver. Like, so many colors. Joker, dude, you're the man. Thanks for supporting so hardcore, dude. Oh, beauty man, like Roman, Bobby's always taking pictures of Roman in the in the hats and stuff. The cool thing is this live stream will be up here forever. So as long as YouTube lives on, I can come back and watch this live stream with the dude throwing my hat on and stuff. It'll be so cute. My nose, guys. Oh, careful. Yes, dude. That goes up. Be careful. Don't smush your toes. Go show mom. Can you carry it to mama? Be careful. That's like the number one parent hack is like the little dude's bugging you. He's like, dude, go take it to mom. Let mom help you. And he's like, you're right. Mom's got me. <laughs> Brad said, uh, had to go for a walk. Made it back before the end. What's up, Brad? How you doing? Hope you had a sick walk. Me, Bobby, and Roman yesterday went on a three-hour walk. I got super toasted. Let's see. Can you see the sunburn? Burn? Look at this tan line. See that? We got toasted. Nathan said, for anyone who has been to Mount Hood Meadows, how is the snow compared to Colorado snow? Oh, Nathan, I've never been. I don't know. Mount Hood snow is pretty good. It's pretty wide open there. Like, no trees, or not too many trees, so wind can get gnarly. Oh, yeah, dude. Wind, wind is a real thing. Talking Tofi said, I ride solo, introverted sadly dude i love solo days sometimes some days i'm like you know what i think i want to go out and like not ride with somebody but it makes the vlog a little harder but like, dude solo days are sick you get to go your pace like sometimes like sometimes you need a solo day i rode i rode solo 90 percent of the time no joke a lot of people ride like snowboard and ski whatever by themselves it's a real thing um it took a while for me to, like I said, build a good snowboard career that can be out there every single day. Tyler, what's up, dude? And it's funny, too, because, like, the, my snowboard crew, I snowboard every single day. And I found a crew that snowboards every single day. Michael, Benton, Tommy, like, all three of those guys can go snowboard every single day. That's not easy to find, especially up here um, in Summit County. I need to find someone to ride with for the terrain I love. That's the other thing is you can find someone to snowboard with, but they might, might not be the dude to snowboard with. They might not like might like the park, might not like to go ride trees. So like there's nothing worse than riding with someone and you don't like what you're riding. Dude, Russell, $10 super chat. Let's go. And he's a member. Dude, thank you for supporting hardcore, man. Uh, Allegra Fund. Also, love the jib board 270 front board video. Worth the wait for sure. Dude, stoked that you liked that video. Maybe we'll have another one of those coming out. But yeah, having Tony, Tommy coach me up and get me all ready to go out and learn a new trick. And we learned it, which is sick. Those videos are risky because what if I don't learn it? We spend the whole day practicing whatever and I never get it. Ah, oh, that would be so lame. But thankfully, we got that trick. Russell, so stoked that you enjoyed that video, man. Thank you for the $10 Super Chat and all the support you do for the channel. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have more jib board um, videos coming out as well. Snow's melting. We're gonna we're gonna have to figure out how to make somewhat sober content. 
Uh, Matthew said, thanks, Jonathan. I got 80 days riding solo and would watch your videos each morning to attempt to amp, to amp me up for the day. Let's go, dude. 80 days by yourself? That's insane. Still sick, dude. 80 day season is incredible. I'm sure you probably would have got that 100 day season if everything didn't shut down. The 200 day season, guys, is we were on pace. We were going to do it. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I want to try and set up a meet up days on the East Coast. Dude, Greg, that'd be so heavy and sick. I guess it's expensive everywhere. Yeah, dude, snowboarding is not a very cheap sport. That's the worst part about it. Eventually, I'd love to grow this thing and get big enough to where we could create a nonprofit for underprivileged kids that like want to try snowboarding. Don't know if they like snowboarding, but we can like really, you know what I'm saying? Like we take them for their first day, we give them a lesson so they actually know how to snowboard and maybe they love it and then they know they want to invest that money into snowboarding. That's something I want to do um, later down the road. And then Melissa came in. Another $20 super chat. Thank you so much, Melissa. Uh, did CDOT move the snow at Loveland Pass yet so people can park? Melissa, great question. I have no idea. If they didn't move it, it's probably melted away by now. No joke. I don't know how big those berms were, but it's been so warm. Um, I'll have to take a drive up there and check it out. We were talking about going and getting Roman... So Roman sleeps in his own bed every single night. We don't co-sleep co with Roman. I'm not trying to sleep with a two-year-old. Dude, sleep in your own bed. And uh, we, he's already in a big boy toddler bed, so he can get in and out of it, whatever. But we think we're ready to put him in like his twin bed, like his crib can convert into a twin. The only thing is the mattress is all the way down Colorado Springs. So we're thinking about doing a day where we drive all the way down there, get his mattress um, out of storage. When we say storage is Bobby's room when she was a... When, Bobby's room. So go grab Bobby's, the the Roman's mattress out of Bobby's room and um, then get Roman in a big boy bed. We could drive, what, the point of that whole conversation right there is not just me rambling, is that we could drive Loveland Pass and see if the snow is there or not. That's what I was trying to get to. Melissa, th thanks for $20 super chat. I will find that question out because I kind of want to get to Loveland Pass and do a lap day. That'd be fun. The other thing is usually when I ride Loveland Pass, I like to show up with a crew and a vehicle and like we're doing laps. We know we have a driver or something we're rotating driving and we're not trying to, I'm not trying to load a bunch of extra people in and cram into a car super tight. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to ride with just my crew and COVID-19 is a great excuse to be like, yo dude, we ain't picking anybody else up. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, Russell Brown says, I read so a lot too. All good because the single line moves faster anyways. It's not a, it's not a bad point, Russell. Yeah, snowboarding is not cheap sport by any means. One thing that's nice about snowboarding is your gear lasts, unless you're me. Like, I, I burn, I wear a, a pair of pants every season. I can burn through a jacket. If I don't rotate them, I'll burn through a jacket in a couple months. Um, like, two, three months, I can literally, like, kind of burn through a jacket. Um, gloves only last a season. Boots only last a season. The only thing that's lasted me for a very long time is my snowboard socks. Like, no joke, these are, like, the best socks ever. They, not, like... No holes in them, whatever. I also have like 30 pairs of snowboard socks and I, I only wear them one day. So like that might be why they're lasting so long. It also keeps my boots from smelling, uh, having multiple pairs of snowboard socks. How do you feel about the Packers draft? Will, I think we were the laughing stock of the draft. I think the worst draft ever. We drafted a quarterback when we have a quarterback, one of the, arguably one of the best to ever play the game. We drafted a running back who had an incredible season and we have a good second second running back. So there was no point to write. Our first two drafts were pointless. I, uh, oh, don't get me started. Are you going to stop making an evolution stomp pad? Oh, uh, I need to, I, it's just another one of those text messages I haven't got back to. I need to write RJ back. We're working on it. We're, we're figuring out pricing. That's the hardest part is figuring out, uh, what's cost efficient for him to pet, spend the time to make the stomp pads. What's, what makes sense for me to, to sell the stomp pads. Does that make sense? Yes, baby. You put your shoes on. No way. Good job. I can't come on yet. You got to wait. We're still on this live stream. Where's mama? Come on. 
Daddy. Let me go see what he wants real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. All right. I'm coming. I'm coming. Show me. Show me. Sorry about that. Thanks for sticking around. Um, Nathan said, how icy is it? So it's super icy in the morning and then around 10 o'clock it thaws out and starts turning into slush. Uh, but slush riding is amazing. Brad said, how can, or you can still take single lines up with a buddy, just split up and be, and link back up at the top. A lot of times if you do a double single, there's two things you can do. Um, you'll get, two other people and then both of you guys get to go up. The other thing you can do is kind of like one single goes out, the other single goes out and you guys kind of take your own chairlift or you make a full single chairlift. I'm guilty of that sometimes. I'm touching my face a bunch because of my allergies, by the way. Uh, we need to take the stacker out of the East Coast for the shred day. We need to get the stacker what's the stacker i'm down for an east coast shred day by the way breezy said best part of solo is that you can go wherever you want whenever you want that's true you're not you're not waiting for someone else to be like yo where are we going whatever oh greg dude thanks for jumping on the live stream brother you're so awesome thanks for the support uh i don't know if you're jumping on warzone but dude go get that dub Matthew said, I really like the videos where you did the critique. Oh, the, the video I critiqued my first vlog. I would love to see more of this. Yeah, that will definitely be in the summer. Like bust one of those videos out and like kind of critique the videos. Oh, get L Stacker out for the East Coast group trade. I'd be down. Gotta get L I gotta ride with L Stacker. That's, a, that's on my bucket list. Season five. Snowboard with L Stacker. That's going down. Um, but yeah, the, like reviewing, uh, reviewing old vlogs or my five favorite vlogs of the season, things like that. That will that will happen for sure. With living outside of Colorado, do you suggest a trip to Colorado or to uh, Banff? With living outside of Colorado, do you suggest a trip to Colorado or to Banff. Joker, I always recommend a trip to Colorado because not only is it super simple to make a trip to Colorado, you fly to DIA. There's like 90 ways from DIA to get up to Summit County. You don't even have to get a rental car. You can take like one of the shuttles and then you can like land in Breck and be fine and just do whatever you want to do there. There's a free bus system. Like there's, there's so many ways to get to the ski resorts in Colorado um, that I highly suggest making a trip to Colorado if you've never done one. It's super easy. Are you gonna make evol oh I've answered that a couple times for Tyler? Oven Raz, decent video idea to do maybe in the next two weeks. Have you and Tommy go through their the rank the Colorado terrain parks of the season? I feel like it'll get a lot of views if you edit it correctly. It's not a bad idea. We did do a we did do a rank of the park. Um on a live stream, we picked Copper to be the best park, but I think we could edit it to be a sick video. You're not wrong. If we edited it correctly and make it the right thumbnail, it could pop. Dude, Shion's here. What's up, dude? Thanks for becoming a member, Shion. You're the man. Guys, if you don't know what member is, here's the link right here. Nope, that's not the link right there. Give me a second. Next to the subscription, uh, you see a join button, or there's this link right here. Is it, pop? is it posting? Oh, uh, my chat's not working. What? 
Sorry, give me one second. I'm gonna refresh this. See the refreshes. Anyways, member is five dollar donation. You get the evolution next to your name, evolution monkey next to your name. After thirty days of supporting, you become this taller evolution dude, and then which we're gonna have a bunch of people turn into this. Then after a month, you'll become the skier. After three months, you become the snowboarder. After six months, or after two months, you become the skier. Then after six months, you become the big evolution or snowboard last evolution snowboard dude. Then you, for a year, you become the full evolution. And then after two years, you get full gold evolution next to your name. It's going to be insane. It's going to be sick. Cannot wait to see it. Um, this is... I'm not allowed to... Oh, I turned my, <laughs> turned my keyboard off because Roman was touching it. <laughs> Happens. There we go. Sean says, heck yeah, bro. I'm going for gold. Let's go, Shion. Get the gold. And we had some super chats come in while I was fiddling with that. So Brad with a dollar twenty-three, dude. Brad, thank you so much, man. Mad supporter of the channel. And then Osvaldo's here. What's up, dude? Uh, he said, what's up, everyone? Red Cherry Evolution sticker. Dude, he, Osvaldo wants that custom merch every time he jumps on his live streams. But he's a mad supporter. We appreciate him. He put an Evolution sticker on a dolly or a pallet jack. I gotta, I gotta uh, give that a shout out. That'd be really sick. I'm gonna cancel every other month so I stay a monkey. <laughs> you would, Melissa. That's so funny. Melissa, you crack me up. But yeah, if you want to become a member, uh, that's uh, that, that link right there, or the join next to the name is how you become a member, and you get to show off to all the subscribers that you support. You support the channel. Channel. You're more than just a subscriber. You're in it for for the win. Arthur says, I, I ride solo when my dad didn't want to ski, but I smacked my back on an elevated box. Ooh, Arthur, I hope you were okay after that. Jonathan, you should make a sticker of yourself in the air spinning one of your 720s or 900s. Bearded Mountain Bike, that's not a bad idea, but I would want to grab first. <laughs> Sounds terrible. My bigger rotations, I don't have grabs yet, so I need to do that. Dude, Austin just became a member. Let's go, Austin. Dude. Hype for Austin becoming a member. He wants that gold evolution. He's going for gold, as Shion said. I love that, man. Uh, Austin, thank you. Austin's a huge supporter channel. Austin met, met up with us at Snow Basin, helped us make a vlog. Austin's in Denver. We might see Austin in a video coming up soon. Um, could be sick, dude. Austin, let's go, dude. Thanks for becoming a member. Support in the dream. You guys are gnarly. The people that support, support hard. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, nar narco Narcoplex? Plexic? My buddy get, gets angry at me when I ride more than four days a week. If I'm riding more than three or four days, more than three or four hours a day, got 30 days in the six weeks was in Colorado. Dude, 30 days in six weeks. Let's go, dude. You're going after it. My buddy gets angry at me when I get ride more than four days a week. Why does he get angry at you, though? That that sounds sick. Dude, the Super Chats just came in. Els Votto dropped another $5. Let's go. He says, I'm going to put the Evolution sticker on the semi-truck. I'll drive. Um, I'll drive. I'll send it to you later. Let's go, Osvaldo. I, um, I'll look into Dark Cherry uh, vinyl, by the way. See if we can make that happen. And then Julie dropped another super chat. $3. Thank you so much. When are you going to go wakeboarding again? So currently the wakeboarding place is closed. Uh, it's called Imondi. It's down in... Um, What's that place called? Fruta. Fruta, Colorado. There's a cable park. I'm so excited to get there. Need to get a season pass for there. Um, and I gotta get the, we gotta get the camper. So the whole point, the, the, one of the biggest points of getting the camper, which we're like in the market for, we're looking around. We wanna get this camper so we can go down to Fruta. It's three hours away. Put the camper up in Fruta and go wakeboarding like for a week or two weeks and then come back up here. Cause it's a three hour drive. Melissa's done this drive with me. It's a long day to do that um in one day so it's a big reason why i want the camper we're going to be making a bunch of more um wakeboarding content for you guys because it's so similar to snowboarding i'm actually like really excited to go wakeboarding melissa i hope you're ready to go wakeboarding in too it's going to be so much fun not warm warm enough to wakeboard yet no joke melissa they they would be open by now though so 
the water, yeah, isn't warm enough to snowboard in like a t-shirt or whatever, but they would be open and you could snow, you could wakeboard in um, a wetsuit, which I don't know. It, I think I'll wait till like prime wakeboarding season where it's nice, the water's nice and toasty. Um, heck yeah, dude, I'm stoked on this live stream. You guys are incredible. It's been a really good live stream. Uh, dude, Nathan says, I can't wait for summer camp vlogs. That's the other sick thing about summer camp, by the way, guys, is we're going to not only be out there teaching you guys how to be better snowboarders, but you guys are going to be in the vlogs. Everyone that comes to summer camp is going to just get to, to be in a like everyday vlog. You know what I'm saying? Like Tommy's the snowboard coach. We also have another professional snowboard coach that's going to be out there. I obviously can coach you guys, but I'll be out there making vlogs and we'll be riding together. It's going to be sick. Like those videos are going to be so fun. I cannot wait for our summer camp. Dude, Snowboard Al is here. What up, man? Snowboard Lifestyle. I like that name. Till Public Park. Hope it opens, dude. I know. I hope it, it's, I have a good feeling about it. Summer camp is going to be sick. Narcoplex said, speaking of Call of Duty, I'm, I'm right trash on there. Always down for Warzone, right trash. All right, dude, send me your friend request. I've been accepting everyone's friend requests on Call of Duty. And um, if you don't know my tag, go check out 5050 Gaming. It's linked below. You can rip the tag from the, like the whole like Call of Duty number or whatever from one of those videos. Uh, we're trying to figure out Warzone. It's so hard to win in Warzone. We got our first W though. Joker was there for it. Uh, Air on Snow was there for it. And uh, we're hyped, dude. We're so hyped on that first W. Uh, Nathan, I've done a reaction to my old videos. We'll do another one. They're always fun. Brad says, Patreon or YouTube, which ends up more in your pocket? I would re would love the new membership, but I, uh, but really it's just about the support my, on not my recognition. Brad, dude, I appreciate that. Patreon's the way to go. So YouTube takes um thirty percent of the memberships. Patreon is only like 3%, something like that. It's, uh, Patreon's a lot lower. Um, so big shout out to all my Patreons. If you do want to support and make sure, like the Patreons are incredible. That is a, that's how I know like I can like do this for a living is through the Patreon page. You guys on my Patreon are so supportive and so sick and they don't, Patreon takes their port portion, but not like YouTube. YouTube takes a ton. So um, Brad, if you want to support with a monthly donation, uh, which I appreciate so much the fact that you're willing to do that for the channel to make sure these daily videos can keep coming for you guys. Um, Patreon's the better way to go. The membership, I just thought was cool for people to get like the monkey and the evolution and all that stuff next to their names. I'm trying to get you guys. Dude, Austin's on Patreon too. So many people that are members are also on Patreon, which is so sick. You guys are incredible. Um, and I really hope that I bring you guys enough value for the support you guys offer. Um, and I'm going to do my best every single day to do as much as I can to make these videos better every single day. Like we didn't snowboard today because we just, me and Tommy literally sat in his house and we just kept on working on back end stuff to make everything better. And that's why I wanna bring a snowboard camp to you guys. You might not be able to go to it, but the people that can, that's a, it's a better experience for you. And then you guys are gonna get to see people that you see in these chats all the time, snowboarding in the vlogs, as well as getting better at snowboarding, as well as just those that those vlogs are gonna be so good. And then we're gonna go to Hood. We've never been to Hood and that's gonna be sick. And um, it's a big reason why I try and travel as much as I can. It's hard to travel with a two-year-old, but traveling makes the videos better and going to new resorts and getting people stoked and letting people see what's a cool place to go snowboard and stuff. Uh, I do that. I, I love it so much. You guys are so incredible. Wetsuit wakeboarding. I've never been in a wetsuit, but it does not look like it'd be a ton of fun. And then Melissa said, arms will just fall off with multiple days of wakeboarding. Dude, no joke, Melissa. The first, maybe I have to do one day down there and then, then try and come back. But <laughs> wakeboarding destroys your arms. Usually it's like, I want to keep wakeboarding, but my arms are toast. What I usually do is I'll, like they have jumps at the very beginning um, and so I'll just session the jumps when my arms start to get tired. I can't wait to see L Stacker and Austin, and everyone else Dude, Nathan. That's going to be sick when that happens. Austin says Warzone is so hard. Best I've ever done is like fifth dude. I agree. I can't believe we got our first win. I went off to end nine kills on our first Warzone win. Uh, 
I like, lost my. What is wakeboarding? I don't. I don't have a singlest idea. So snowboard owl wakeboarding is when you're on a like a snowboard looking thing. You're on a board that you strap into, and you're getting towed behind a boat, and like the boat has a cable or a whatever rope hanging off and a handle. But in Fruta, in a lot of places, it's called a cable park. So instead of a boat, it's like a pulley system that goes around and you can like hit rails and jumps and things like that. And there's no wakes and stuff. It's really cool. It's like snowboarding behind a boat. Ooh, Roman sounds pissed. Austin says, dang, I have to do Patreon too. Austin, dude, I appreciate you, man. How much is it for the Patreon deals? Dude, there's a dollar donation on Patreon um, and it lets you leave my weekly blog, get all the information, all the stuff I post on Patreon. So uh, you can go on Patreon, donate one buck and support the dream and just get to know more about the channel through the Patreon page. And then Shane just became a member. What'd you do to him? He sounds mad. I took him inside. You didn't want to come inside. I volunteered you to jump Daniel's car. Oh, great. Daniel, you all know Daniel. Well, you don't know Daniel, go check out season two. Daniel helped us with season two. That's... Nope, that's not. Uh, anyways. That's what I did. What? What? Here we go. You want to go outside? Yes. Hey, come outside this way then. No. Hey. Let's go outside in the front yard. No, we don't. At the back. He's going to close it. <laughs> Two-year-olds are so funny. Dude, Shane, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Shane's the man. We met up with Shane down in Austin when we did the Dallas trip and everything. Can I hold you? Daddy will take you outside after the live stream. You just take <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Mom's taking him. Need to make uh, a Jonathan Buckhouse Wikipedia page. Austin, I heard if you make a Wikipedia page or someone makes a Wikipedia page about you, it helps you get verified on Instagram. So however you do that, I think I need to help her. Okay, I think I should go help mom, guys. Wikipedia page will help us get verified on Instagram. Roman's losing it. Got a tag team, you know what I'm saying? Can't let... Can't can't leave her hanging with this one. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. All the new members, let's go. We got Shane and Austin became new members. If you want to become a member, I'll drop the link once again. Dude, Evan just became a Patreon. Let's go, Evan. Evan Block, he's on the Patreon page. Evan, you're the man. Guys, thank you for all the love and support. I, I got to go help out, guys. I'll talk to you later. Live stream on uh, Twitch is every Wednesday. And Saturday, live stream on here's every Thursday and Sundays. All right, guys, thank you so much for the for understanding, for supporting, 